Well, seeing as the Art Deco llamas were sprung on us, I figure I should start by covering the Sod Buster, which is the launcher from the set, and I think was going to be one of the more highly coveted weapons, seeing as it is now ranked number three in the hardest hitting launchers section. So, if you think about the Storm King's Wrath and the Metal Marauder, the Sod Buster is right below it. I can show the graphic here. Fortnite DB has not put the Sod Buster in this ranking, but it is in the third spot with a base 694 damage, which makes this thing stronger than the Jack Launcher, which which means something nowadays. Stronger than the Jabberwocky, stronger than the Santa's Little Helper. This thing is a monster, and along with all of the new Art Deco weapons, sports a fancy new six perk. So it can deal 44% bonus damage to fire, water, or nature enemies, depending on the schematic that you have. So this thing is basically like a cross between the Santa's Little Helper and the Dam Buster, but way stronger, seeing as it has less impact and knockback as the Dam Buster, which is a weapon that is fantastically amazing at moving things around. I can show some gameplay here that we recorded today on stream where we were just knocking around smashers like they were nothing. It was like we were playing kickball with them, and that'll be a future video when I cover the damn buster, but the sod buster has, you know, less impact and knockback, but, you know, still perfectly capable of moving things around, but way, way, way more damage, and that makes this thing just a powerhouse, a really, really strong launcher, and I think if you're somebody who likes using the bazooka or the Senna's Little Helper or, you know, a single rocket high damage kind of weapon, this will be a fantastic replacement to it, uh, with a caveat. So, because this is an Art Deco weapon, you can see that it has no energy and no physical perks, and that six perk is something that's very, very important. So, let's get right into the perks for this thing. I'm not going to waste any time. Reload triple damage is the best way to go. You can go quadruple damage if you want to wait three seconds between shots. A lot of people like to run crit on these things. Uh, you can. You have two crit rating options down here. Never go double crit rating. A damage perk is always better than a second crit rating. If you want to go crit rating crit damage, that'll be the best damage per second or damage over time, but that's just really not how a rocket performs. It is a lot of damage right now, and while every single enemy within a single explosion can crit individually, I never think crit rating is worth it on this, and that's not something I'd recommend, but crit rating crit damage can work if you want to go for that, so crit damage would be up here, crit rating would be down here, but if you really, really want to play with this thing as like a replacement to the dam buster because it does more damage, then you could go triple impact or an impact or two impact perks, whichever you want to do. You got a lot of options. You could even go quadruple quadruple impact here. Now, the Dam Buster is, is probably a better way to go there, but this is certainly a way to replace it in a way. I mean, it is called the Buster. I mean, Dam Buster, Sod Buster, I mean, they're definitely hinting at something there. But that's pretty much it for the normal perks. I don't really have much else to say. I highly recommend at least one reload and then triple damage, crit rating, crit damage, impact, whatever you guys want to do kind of depends on your play style. I will be sticking to triple damage, but for the perk, that's where we have to talk about some interesting things. Now, because your six perk can be, like I said, fire, water, and nature, it really depends on your six perk to you know determine your element i think because mine deals more damage against fire enemies i think a water perk up here makes more sense because i will be doubling down on damage to fire enemies unfortunately this is the caveat that i mentioned if you're going to be going that route for these kinds of weapons you're going to need three of them essentially if you want to use the sod buster whenever you want you are going to need three identical schematics with the only difference being the different six perks now that's currently impossible seeing as epic has done a very very stand-up guy move, oh boy, I'm saying that through my teeth, where they've released these weapons through V-Buck Llamas, which is super cool. I'm very glad they did that. Um, it's so shitty, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But that's how it is right now, and hopefully these things will be more, you know, available later on. Maybe that was an accident. Maybe we're gonna get tickets. Whatever your opinion is, it is impossible to get multiples of these, uh, conceivably. Surely there's some guy out there who has three of these, but most people don't, straight up. So, if you want to make it a little bit more well-rounded, you could have damage to fire enemies down here, you know, take care of that, and then give it something completely opposite, like damage to nature enemies or something, where you'll be dealing extra damage to water, extra damage to fire, you'll be neutral against nature, and that could be a pretty fun way to go, but if you're using this nature uh, launcher against a fire enemy, you're still going to be doing a quarter of your normal output. That six perk is not going to save you, at least not from my experience today. So, there are a few ways to think of this. I think you should just double down on your six perk and then in my case for example only use it against fire enemies make this a water one do extra damage against fire enemies have a grand old time while doing it i think in the late game you know way beyond you know day one release like we're talking now when you're having multiple multiple copies of these and you're specking up the different elements these are going to be very very powerful weapons i've been testing some of the other weapons and you guys should stay tuned to the follow-up videos to this because i'm going to be covering every weapon in this set and from what i've seen so far this is going to be a very powerful set but that just about wraps up the launcher today you guys
guys. If you guys want to support the channel, feel free to use code MISTIC to check out. If you haven't bought any of the Art Deco Llamas, I'd appreciate you using my creator code. It would help me a lot. It really does go a long way. If you guys want to become a member, support me even further. That's an option for you. Click the join button down below or the member link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, have a nice day, you guys. <laughs> and then